Hi guys, so I'm coming to you guys with this new story that I just seen on Instagram and it's coming from Jamaica Observer and it's talking about another Jamaican YouTuber. Jamaica Observer headlined this story as a vlogger and if you are new here, what Andre Stevens does is not vlogging he does commentary but vlogger is what they use to disrespect demean and belittle jamaican people that choose to talk about controversial issues and topics here on youtube but let's get into the story because if i'm going to address that it's going to take a whole another day and another video controversial vlogger andre stephens has lost a default judgment in a defamation suit in the supreme court to investment banker ryan Stratton. Stephens, known for his often loud style and antics, did not bother to formally acknowledge the lawsuit that was brought against him. He had in March publicly stated he had in March publicly stated that he was in receipt of a demand letter and his lawyers would deal with it. But by not formally acknowledging the lawsuit, it is now up to the court to go ahead and assess the level of damages as well as the cost and interest that Stephens will have to pay straighten. Stratton is currently the vice president of investor relations at GK Capital, the investment and advisory subsidiary of food and financial service company Grace Kennedy Limited. He had argued that Stephen made gravely defamatory videos and images that were published through his social media accounts on YouTube and TikTok. Attorney Trevor Cuff of the firm Cuff and Shaw said Stephens maliciously besmirched the reputation of his client, who is an eminent and highly respected senior member of his profession, with several postings on February 5th, 7th, and 18th. The letter alleged that on February 7, 2023, Stephens, operating under the username at Andre underscore Stephens 876, published a video on a social media platform tiktok contain a number of malicious and disparaging statements and innuendos the letter demanded that stephen cease and desist from uttering any further false and malicious statements or innuendo against straighten the letter demanded an unqualified apology in terms to be dedicated by the law firm and to be disseminated by way of youtube handle i am andre stephens 1035 tiktok handle and at andre stephens 876 and instagram handle i am andre stephens the letter further demanded that within three days of the date of the letter stephen should remove the above mentioned videos and posts from youtube handle i am andre stephen 1035 tiktok handle i am andre stephens 876 and instagram handle i am andre stephens the letter also demanded a reimbursement to our client in full for his legal cost should these demands not be met we have strict instruction to file legal proceedings against you forthwith to recover damages as well as aggravated damages therein cuff wrote as a result of these gravely defamatory videos and images involving our client who is an eminent and highly respected senior member of his profession you have intentionally and maliciously besmirched our client's reputation in january straight and confirmed that he joined ssl as a wealth advisor in september 20 11 and later supervised jean and payton the former wealth advisor accused in the ssl fraud for one year he left in august of 2015 it is hard to imagine a more damaging series of liables of our clients which are calculated to cause him serious and lasting damage both in his public and private life reflecting as they do on his integrity honesty and his professional competence and his motive cough wrote Straight and through his lawyer argued that he had no reason to question Peyton's actions in managing an account held by sport legend Usain Bolt, 
holding company well jean i was never made aware of any concern so i can't speak to that because that was never at my level of authority he said this is the second major defamation suit win awarded against a vlogger in recent years in 2019 the supreme court awarded 16 million dollars to former moravian minister dr kentu thompson in his defamation lawsuit filed against gender activist latoya nugent the court also ordered that she should pay legal cost one thing i realize is some people may not like andre and like what he does or like who he is as a person but one thing i will say is andre handed these people this win if he had acknowledged the suit and actually gotten lawyers involved i don't think they would have given this person the win because you have to prove defamation you have to prove malicious intent in court and this is something that a lot of jamaicans want to do and they hide doing it because they are scared that people of the upper echelon of society are going to do just this they're going to sue them and because they don't have the money and the backative to back them up in court they are going to lose what they work for as far as building their platform and building a name for themselves so if you're wondering why a lot of jamaican videos are very cookie cutter rate my outfits vlog here with me go out with me get ready with me for this party very surface level level videos and very corny videos is because people understand that status and money and who you align yourself with in jamaica plays a part and the people that do do commentary that don't hide their face or hide behind a black screen and use voice changing apps are normally cookie cutter or they stay neutral because they don't want to get into stuff like this and people in jamaica need to be really concerned because this is showing that you may have free speech in the constitution and in the law books in jamaica but free speech is not free in jamaica if you have the right money the right lawyers the right backative and the right status that will get you where you need and to basically to get other people to stop talking about you and one thing i will say is a lot of people take up youtube and do commentary videos and they don't really do their homework they don't really study the craft because quite honestly doing youtube and talking about stuff that is controversial especially in jamaica is something that takes a lot of work and education and actual talent you can't just come online and say whatever you want how you feel and be overly emotional because that's gonna get you in a lot of problems which is why a lot of people hide change up their voice and do all sort of craziness just to comment on things that are happening in jamaica and build a platform so you need to make sure that you are doing your homework you are using the right ftc guidelines when you make your videos you are putting the right tags in your videos and stating that this is my opinion or this information is alleged information and i can't confirm nor deny this a lot of hard work and education go into making commentary videos and to make sure that you are not consciously and intentionally defaming somebody and a lot of people come on youtube and thinking that doing commentary work or doing vlogging as to what they call it is easy and it's not it takes quite a bit of skill and knowledge and also knowing jamaica's laws and constitution and where and when and how and why you are doing certain stuff so with that being said i wish him all the best i actually hope he gets a lawyer involved and take this to court and let them do whatever they can because quite honestly i feel like status played a lot into this and also andre has other issues going on with his youtube channel being taken away 
and a whole bunch of other stuff i hope his fans rally around him and support him because this right here getting sued is not easy but this goes to show jamaicans and people that want to do youtube that this is not something that you take lightly and this is not something you can willy-nilly and just get up and do you have to know what you're doing and you have to be strategic with that being said i'm gonna end this video please like comment share subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one deuces